would like to see technology being used for good things mm -hmm. instead yeah, of, uh, you know, the, the iPads and the tablets can do all these things. We have one, and it's literally for like Facebook and Twitter yeah. and email. Yeah. We probably well, utilize like 5% of it. Well, I see like all the news that's breaking on, th right. that's what right. I use this there's for. A, yeah, there's a purpose for it. Yeah. Some people, you know, take pictures with them and yeah, yeah. everyone has their own yeah but it's very cool at least see you know positive uses for technology and anytime you hear kids are enjoying learning you know that's a good thing so yeah I'm sure that's not always it's not always what we thought the case was back in the day so yeah no. <laughs> I just needed that TV you know the substitute teacher TV oh, give me yeah. Bill Nye yes, give me the movie the uh, I also remember yeah. in fifth no, this was way before fifth grade. The, you remember the first Apple computers that were colorful? Oh, yeah. The green, yeah, the Mac, purple. Oh, yeah. The Macintosh, I remember yes. when we first oh, got those and it was like, ooh, what are these? Yeah. These look neat. Oh, it was in elementary so school at some point. Yeah. I remember as a family, we had, when we first got American Online, oh, like we're all sitting around the computer American like, Online. what is this? Like, why is there a ringtone? Like, what <laughs> is oh, happening? Remember the dial up? So yeah, many do, do, good. Do, do, do. Yeah. I actually still have yeah. an AOL email account. They won't let me delete it. Oh. Yeah, they, I seriously called one day. I was like, I need to get rid of this. It's yeah. all spam. And they're like, they literally said, like, your master account can't be deleted. Wow, weird. Maybe I was just getting around. They're around. just going to hold yeah. on to you forever. I guess so. If it goes so. around, comes around, maybe you'll want that I AOL so. email. One yeah, of find days. me on, uh, what is it, AIM. Find me on the Instant Messenger. Oh, Certainly hoping that we'll get kind of get what goes around, comes around in the yeah. forecast. Because, you know, what's going around, what's coming this week, I don't want it back, but I want the 80s back, the 70s yeah. back. Yeah. Some of that fall like me weather too. that we are kind of skipping out on. So we are going straight from summer smack into late fall. We'll take a look at what's happening with our forecast in a second. But did want to update you first on a developing situation uh, down in the Atlantic. Uh, her Hurricane Maria, we're going to start tracking this one again, making its way northwest. It's just been upgraded to a Category 2 storm. We're expecting it to rapidly intensify over these next couple of days. And as we put this track into motion, you'll notice expecting it to become a Category 3 hurricane, meaning a major hurricane as it does continue to barrel its way towards some of these leeward islands that got hit so hard uh, by Hurricane Irma just weeks ago. So it could be another devastating situation uh, forming in the Atlantic. So expect more on that in the coming days uh, on that storm as it makes its way a little bit closer. So we're looking at rain chances this week. As far as if you're one of those people who likes to see the numbers, count on some showers out there today through Wednesday, especially Thursday, Friday. That chance drops a little bit, but I think smart rule of thumb, keep the umbrella, the rain jacket, some of that close by uh, today all the way through the end of the work week. So we certainly have an unsettled pattern coming our way. Might be nice to see some rain around here, though. We've had a dry summer still above where we belong as far as rainfall for the entire year, but it's been pretty dry uh, so far this summer and this month, too. Here's our cool pocket of air. It's going to dig its way into the Pacific Northwest, sending cooler temps. Also, the potential for some mountain snow showers and rain showers around here. You'll notice we kind of stick in this cooler pocket all the way through Thursday, uh, if not Friday of this week. So that is why our temperatures are going to be so much cooler uh, than where we technically belong for this time of the year. It's a huge trough, uh, and this area really going to impact much of the Pacific Northwest, but kind of bringing back some of that unsettled weather that I think some of us would maybe like to see. Transitioning this to the satellite radar, we did have one band of rain pushing through this morning, and you can kind of see some showers again beginning to form behind it. So expect cloud cover and spotty showers this morning. I wouldn't be surprised to see some periods of rain through the morning and into the afternoon too, but we've got wet weather up in uh, eastern Washington all the way out to the Seattle area too. So starting to reintroduce rain uh, to the Pacific Northwest. So here it is on the future cast. Let's time things out for you. Break it down. I think as we fast forward through the morning, as you head out the door, count on the possibility of rain showers. It's looking pretty likely at this point, even getting into the early hours of the afternoon. Uh, latest runs on the future cast continue to show uh, streams of rain moving through. We'll probably get some breaks in there, but also won't rule out the possibility of some thunder shower activity as we fast forward into the five o'clock hour. I would say mid afternoon through early evening going to be the best shot for any uh, uh, lightning bolts or lightning strikes or any thunder out there. But for the most part, just watching for kind of a potentially rainy day today, showery tomorrow too. As we get into the morning and afternoon tomorrow, snow levels are going to be pretty high, seven to seven, 7,000 to 7,500 feet. But we still could be talking about a little bit of accumulation on some of those highest peaks. And then as we get into Wednesday, unfortunately, the temps are going to cool off so much. We could be looking at lower snow levels, meaning maybe some of those mountain valleys up in the highest elevations could see a little dusting out there. So we'll keep our eyes on that over the next couple days. For today, overall, just mostly overcast conditions. Rain this morning, potential for some thunder showers this afternoon. Temperatures not moving around too much. Upper 50s early on, low to mid 60s for daytime highs. And it's going to be a cold front pushing through this afternoon that will keep our temps so cool compared to where we belong for this time of the year. So I would say we're lucky if we hit 64 mountain temps in the 50s, but really overall we're going to spend most of our day 
in the 50s to low 60s with showers on the way today, probably tomorrow too. And then Wednesday, Wednesday's round two, kind of when we get our second push of cold air shoving its way in. And I think that one has the potential to bring even rainier conditions than today. It'll be breezy. The winds will kick up. And then Thursday, as a result, going to be the coolest day in the forecast with highs in the mid 50s. We're supposed to be at 78.